Even my people, there are precisely three weeks, two weeks after this, because I've got two gins left in 2024, next 2023. I'm an idiot. God, January, that's what I've been drinking. I tell you what, if I was going to be drinking today, I'd be drinking this wicked stuff. It is the High Country Gin from Backwards to Cinco, up in my favourite Victorian town, Yakandanda. So, I've looked this up. And I will look past the screen through the magic of technology and say that they say that the botanicals in there is a lemon myrtle, pepperberry, wattle seed, peppermint gum, and strawberry gum. So it's got two eucalypts, pepperberry, could well be um, me blinding you with my glasses reflection, could well be um, Sichuan pepper, um, could just as easily be Tasmanica because lemon myrtle and everything else is native. So we will hear the sound of happiness. I'm like in the one minute short. Go and watch that to see where things go sideways in my reviews. So. It smells happiness, says yeah. Oh, it's a dry gin. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. This is a dry gin. It's still reasonably warm in the house where I'm at the time I'm reviewing this, um, and it is very early December. Melbourne's having one of those, I don't know, summers, late springs where it's either bucketing now one day or um, cooking, you know, steaming you to death and roasting you the next. And that bunk sound would be um, my weekly summary coming in. I'm trying to. So there's not a lot of aromatics happening. That's because everything is happening well and truly in the in the gin itself. Um, and I've just found that pepperberry is more likely as a uh, genus Tasmania. It's a local um, indigenous, not as all related botanically to the um, pepper that you grind over your um, evening roast. I did a pot roast for my family this evening and um, the healthy grind of fresh pepper and rub it in salt. Whack it in, and this vegetarian apparently produces a lethal um, pot roast. So, yeah, um, these people know what they're doing. Yeah, now I'm picking up the strawberry gum, and um, I know what else these boys that eluded me. People say it's in there, okay, so okay, I'm going to have to eventually have someone hijack my taste buds and point out to me exactly what is up, what I'll see when I'm tasting it. There is a faint earthiness. Um, what could not be helping my palate is that I've actually eaten um, bagora, the uh, Indian uh, veggies and dosa. I mean, in, sorry, in basin flour, basin batter um, this evening. So I've had a fair bit of spices and that. Well, it's not helping. Having said that, let me say this. Um, they recommend it in a GNT. There are three recommendations for drinking. Um, they're recommending cuppy because cuppy is local, dry tonic, and a sprig of rosemary. That sounds like a saving suggestion. Gin fizz with cuppy lime, lemon soda, slice of lemon, and a sprig of fresh mint. And the bee's knees serve so ice with honey syrup, lemon juice, and cuppy soda, garnished with a slice of lemon. Um, or you can simply just knock this back with your um, favorite fever tree, Mediterranean, um, which is what I'm likely to do because I don't have, a gin. I don't have any coffee in my house. It's as simple as that. I'm a coffee free zone. So, yeah. This is the um, Backwoods High Country Gin. Um, and before I go, a bottle will set you back about. Sixty nine dollars for the seven hundred mil, five hundred mil bottle. So seventy bucks for a seven hundred for a half, half liter. Um, it is third of December as I'm filming this. My little offside has gone to sleep. 
um, there's plenty of time to get these people busy, go big, let's order them up, let's give them as good a Christmas as what we plan to have, because if you drink this stuff, you're going to have a fantastic Christmas. I'm Odin, there's two more gins to go, and I can tell you they're going to be the old Dodger, and I need to put my glasses back on. The No Woman Dry Gin from um, Near Time, as I blind you with a glare off my glasses. Thank you for supporting me this year. I'll catch up.